say it's been a challenging couple of weeks would be an understatement. The challenges are everywhere. People are losing their jobs, people are losing their businesses, but there's lots of good going on too. People are helping each other, people are supporting each other. Whether it's colleagues or friends or community members or local businesses, people are pitching in and helping. When you go onto social media, it's easy to get inundated with all the negatives, all the crude comments and rude comments and depressing comments. It is a challenging time. It is a scary time and the hype and the sense of panic makes it really difficult to keep your head about you and to focus on what's within our control. Dr. Robert Schuler said that tough times don't last, but tough people do. Now he wasn't talking about tough as in rough and tough like John Wayne. He was talking about resilient people, people that can keep pushing forward when things are looking lost and when you're scared. But like I said, there's lots of positive examples. Today, Bison was out helping their neighbors, offering to clean some of their equipment, clean some of their buildings for no charge, just to help keep people active and busy. Some of the workers were not even concerned that they might not get paid yet because they were trying to pitch in and be positive, not only for their community, but for the company that supports them in Bison. It's interesting when you actually give without the expectation of receiving, things can come back to you too. One of the people we offered to help suggested that maybe we come back and clean a lot of their equipment next week in a real paying job. But the expectation to give without receiving is the key in many things. And the expectation to do what's right and to help our fellow man are some of the keys in trying to get through this. Trying to be a positive light. We're all gonna know people that have lost their job. So let's look out for each other out there. Let's try and share our gifts and share our strengths and sometimes just share our spirit and our attitude. One of my favorite readings is by Charles Swindell and it talks just about attitude itself. And it says, the longer I live, the more I realize the impact of attitude on life. Attitude to me is more important than facts. It's more important than the past, than education, than money, than circumstances, than failures, than successes, than what other people think or say or do. It is more important than appearance, giftedness, or skill. It will make or break a company, a church, or a home. The remarkable thing is that we have a choice every day regarding the attitude we embrace for that day. We cannot change our past. We cannot change the fact that people will act in a certain way. We cannot change the inevitable. The only thing we can do is play the one string that we have, and that is our attitude. I'm convinced that life is 10% what happens to me and 90% how I react to it. And so it is with you. We are in charge of our attitudes. So go make yours a positive one. Thank you.